David Lynch said, negativity is the enemy of creativity. I wanted to talk a little bit about this idea of negativity today in relation to filmmaking, especially for those of us working outside of the kind of external validations of money or fame or other traditional markers that make up, for a lot of people, their definition of success. Negativity has a way of playing off of our self-doubts and our frustrations, and if left unchecked, can really drag us down and lead to creative defeat. And that's why I think it's important to be able to recognize negativity when it presents itself and to be able to step back from it, to put it in perspective, and to try to isolate the source of it, to, to prevent it from overtaking us. Negativity can take different forms. I'll give an example. Um, this happened to me shortly after I graduated from film school. I was working on a film project, not, not mine, but somebody else's, and uh, crossed paths uh, you know, on it with somebody I had gone to film school with. Now, I don't remember exactly what led to him making these comments to me, and to this day, I'm still not entirely clear what he was even referring to when he made them. But he said to me basically that if I continued I guess going in the direction that I was going or making the kinds of films that I was making, that no one would ever take me seriously and that people would think I was a joke. Now, I'm not going to pretend that this comment didn't rattle me at the time. But what I recognize then, and recognize much more even now, is that comments like this always say much more about the person making them than they do about the person to whom they're directed. And I also have to say that I find, I, I, I have found that, co that explicitly negative comments like that are actually fairly rare. I, I, it's, it, I've, at least in my experience, it's fairly rare to hear that kind of really explicitly negative comment. Now, it's never easy to hear something like that, but the one thing about a comment like that is it's easy to recognize, recognize it for what it is and to be able to try to put it aside, to tune out the negativity. Um, but there's another form of negativity that I think is a lot more subtle and frankly, a lot more insidious. And that's what I call the why bother question. Now, this could take the form of asking, well, why bother making this movie if, you know, only a few people are going to watch it? Or why bother making this movie if I'm not going to make any money off of it? You know, why bother doing this? Why bother doing that? And the problem with this kind of thinking is if taken to its logical extremes, then the question becomes, why bother doing anything? I'll give an example of this kind of negativity. Uh, about a decade or so ago, I was working on a film and somebody who was acting in it for me uh, told me that he'd mentioned to someone that, that he was working on this film and that their reaction was to basically shake their head and say, you know, why are you bothering to, why are you wasting your time? I think is what he said. Why are you wasting your time on this movie that nobody's ever going to watch? And it's this kind of negativity that I, I think is so dangerous because what it comes down to is making excuses and justifying why you're not doing something. And there's a lot of people out there that I've encountered who talk about making films but never actually do it. And they have a ton of excuses about why they don't do it. Uh, it's very easy to, to fall into this kind of thinking. Because let's face it, filmmaking does take a lot of work. There's a lot of energy and effort involved, and it's very easy to get daunted by that. But here's the thing. If you allow those excuses to stop you from ever making a movie, then it's never going to get any easier. The excuses will just kind of compound in your mind, and it will just get more and more daunting because you never take the step of doing it. And at least... In my experience, and I think this is probably true for a lot of people who make movies, that once you 
take that first step of just picking up the camera and shooting something and making a film. It actually just gets easier after that. It becomes a matter of degrees. You know, the projects may get more ambitious, there may be more involved in it, but ultimately it, what it comes down to is once you have given yourself the experience of making a movie, you realize that it can be done. And it gets a little easier each time. Because if nothing else, you know what's involved in making a movie. You know what's involved in making even a very small project. And then that actually makes it easier to deal with negativity when it presents itself and not to get daunted by it. Because think of it this way. Let's say that you're dealing with some external factors that you just have to accept, right? Let's say you just don't have the money to spend on doing, you know, A, B, and C for your movie. Or you don't have enough uh, people to do X, Y, and Z. You don't have enough, you know, people to help you out or whatever. Okay. I mean, those, those are issues that you need to think about. But once you've had the experience of making a, you know, a small film for yourself, you know what you can do, and you can find ways of working around those issues. You may not be able to make the exact movie that you originally envisioned, but you can still find a way of, get, of taking those ideas that you wanted to convey and making a, a movie that you can make and still getting those ideas across. And I think that's where the, having the experience of making a film, of just making a film, uh, can be one of the biggest things that you can do to overcome the, uh, the, the, the fears and the excuses and the justifications uh, that a lot of people give for not doing it. And that's the thing is, at the, you know, to get back to something I said at the beginning of this video about uh, what success looks like for a lot of people, you have to ask, what does success look like for me? What is my definition of success? Now, that can be different for everybody. For me, I, I would say that it comes down to being able to make movies. I mean, as simple as that, to, to be able to make a movie, to be able to have a finished film that I can put my name on and point to it and say, I made that. That to me is a, is a, a great experience. And I think once you can kind of separate that out, you know, your personal reasons for wanting to make a movie outside of all the external factors like money and recognition. I mean, sure, we, you know, we would love to have those things, I'm sure. But at the end of the day, it's not enough. It's not necessarily why we continue to do it. And I think being able to recognize that, to be able to, to know why we do it, why we make movies, is so important to being able to overcome the negativity. Because like I said, it plays on things like self-doubts and frustrations, and those are natural. We all feel that. We all deal with that all the time, I think, you know, especially with any creative pursuit. But the key is not to let the challenges turn into the negativity and to daunt you to the point where you don't make a movie or you don't allow yourself to go through the creative process. That's why I think uh, that kind of why bother attitude can be so dangerous because it's easy. It's, it's kind of seductive. You know, once, once you get that, that bug in your ear, you can start thinking, well, maybe that person's right. You know, maybe there is no point to doing this. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't bother. And once you do that creatively, you're sunk because you're going you're gonna, to uh, start to listen to those little excuses about why you can't do something. And what it boils down to is focus on what you can do and how you can get your ideas across. Anyway, those are just a few thoughts on this issue of negativity that I wanted to share and, you know, that I hope might be helpful in being able to tune out the negativity. I'd be curious, um, for those of you who have your own uh, ways of dealing with negativity, how, how do you, how do you address it when you feel, when you feel it coming on? If you feel, if you feel yourself getting discouraged about making a project, uh, you know, how do you deal with that, with that kind of, that little negative voice that can present itself at times? Uh, I'd be curious to 
you know, hear your uh, thoughts on that in the in the comments here. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.